everybody, I hope you are having a wonderful summer and have had a chance to read lots and lots and lots. Um, today I'm going to review a book that I think is a really great summer read. So the book I'm going to be talking about today is Since You've Been Gone by Morgan Matson, and it was published this year. It was very anticipated, I think. A lot of people were waiting for this book um, and it's quite hefty. It's 450 pages. So Since You've Been Gone follows this girl called Emily and Emily was best friends with this girl called Sloane and they were inseparable, they did everything together and they had very different personality traits. Sloane was very outgoing and very popular and very confident whereas Emily is more shy and less out there and not really known for her own personality and more for being Sloane's friend. And what happens is, one summer, Sloane disappears and Emily doesn't know where she's gone and she's getting a little bit panicky because she's never been this long without Sloane. And one day, Sloane sends Emily a list of things that she has to do throughout the summer in the post. And there's no return address, there's no way that she knows where it's come from. And so she thinks that by doing the things on this list, she will be able to track down Sloane and find out where she is. That's the general premise. And this book kind of follows Emily's growing as a character. And I think the narrative really reflects that because the narrative starts off kind of awkward and really sort of dysfunctional and not easy. Well, it's easy to follow, but it's not as smooth as the narrative that comes later on in the book. And it really charts the way in which her personality grows and how she becomes more comfortable with who she is. A couple of things that I really loved about this book. Um, the first being that it was sort of really chilled. It was a chilled read. It was something that you can read slowly. Like often with books you feel like you need to read them quickly but this one I really wanted to take it in and read it slowly. So I liked that I could do that. It was quite a nice sort of chilled out read. Um, Secondly, something that I think is incredibly innovative and amazing and so different to everything I've ever read before is that this book had playlists in it. So it had legitimate lists of songs in the book that were used for like Emily's running playlists and music that she shared with her friends. And I feel like that really helped with the characterization of these people, like the characters in the book, and it really helped to sort of set the mood of the book. I felt like I was sort of part of the book because I was listening to the same music and enjoying the same sort of things. Then that kind of leads on to one sort of thing that I think could have been improved a little bit is the characterization because widely it's good. Yeah, I liked it. But there was not much to go on. It was very much your own imagination. So I think the playlist really helped with that and it gave you a sense of who the people were. I know that a lot of times it's nice to figure out who the characters were. I would have liked a little bit more um, information about the characters, but apart from that, it was a very good read. The ideas behind this book were really great because the sort of concept of this list of outrageous things to do, like kissing a stranger and hugging a Jamie and wearing something that you wouldn't normally wear, or it just sort of really promoted to me the sort of freedom that you get in summer and I've made my own list of things that I want to do this summer and I'm sort of slowly going through and doing them. Some of them aren't quite as um, dramatic and exciting as the ones in the book but it's still really nice to sort of be able to take ideas like that from books like this. Leading on from the list I really liked how the book was the chapters were titled with different activities on the list and the fact that the activity that was the title of the chapter didn't necessarily always get fully solved in that chapter. It wasn't always what you expected which was really nice. Overall I think I gave this book four or five stars out of five on Goodreads. It might have been a four, I think it was a four, but it was a very good read. If you're looking for something to read that's really summery. This book made me feel really summery and a lot of times I stopped reading the book to look something up online that I could go and do and it really sort of inspired me to go and have the best summer ever. So yes, aesthetically this book is gorgeous and Simon & Schuster published this book and Simon & Schuster are one of my favourite publishers because they really think about like what their 
books look like and I know that people say that don't judge a book by its cover but I think that's been outdated quite a lot but the way that they put so much thought into it like this the graphics on this cover are incredible so you've got the nice plain spine here but if you open up the dust cover you have this amazing poster thing of um Emily and Sloan and it's I just I, I love details like that because it makes me so happy that somebody has thought that much about a book cover and I love it. Let me know if you have read this book down in the comments and what you thought of it and if there's anything you really want to do this summer that's a little bit crazy or just anything that you're planning on doing this summer I'd love to hear what you guys are going to be up to. Um, also I do have a blog now which is called Daniela Kai and I will, the links are in the description but on there when I don't have time to film videos I usually post things on that blog or anything that I don't think would be substantial enough to make a video or that I don't know whether I want to put it on the channel. Anything written that I want to put on there just goes on there so everything that's not on here basically. Um, and. I've got Twitter and Instagram and all of that and all of those good things are in the description bar but yeah just a reminder because I don't usually say things like that in my videos I kind of just finish them off but um yes I hope you have a lovely week and I will see you next time bye <laughs>